So you guys know I'm always on here talking about how I love competition, how I think that it breeds greatness. It pushes you outside of your normal capabilities. It breeds accountability. Well, inside of Titanium University, we love to create competitive atmospheres. So because the Summer Olympics are going on right now, we decided we were going to create the Titanium University Summer Olympics. The reason why we did this is, is to get those exact results, that accountability, push people outside of their comfort zones, and try to achieve results that they otherwise were not already getting. Now, here's what we did. What we did was, is we had 40 people sign up. So we created five teams of eight people. All right. They got points based off of daily actions over the course of three weeks. Okay. Now, those actions that we were giving points for were tracking KPIs, planning your day, posting a reflection. Now, on the KPIs, what you got points for were new conversations with motivated sellers or cash buyers, signed contracts, signed assignments, closed and funded deals. Here at Titanium, we feel like those are the most important things because we are about results. That is the most important thing. We want you to take action, implement what we teach you at Titanium University and get results. So you got more points, obviously, for getting like a signed contract and then a signed assignment. And then obviously the most important one, closed and funded where we get the money, baby. That's the most important thing. All right. So we had the five teams of eight. They were all working together. So even though some people had just extraordinary results and they were maybe a leading point getter for their team, they were also relying on some of their other team members to bring in additional points because one single person could not outdo what a team of other eight people could do. So even though we had some, some you know standout people, and we're going to go through that, you were relying on your team. We feel like this is important because it brings on that just brotherhood, that accountability, the, the, the networking, right? What was amazing about this is, is how many people, even though they were already in Titanium University together, getting on a team, a smaller community, having a like daily chat, maybe a daily conversation, finding out where someone else is doing deals, maybe what lead generation is working for them. Maybe a small little tactical change on dispositions or comping and underwriting, whatever it was. We've heard numerous stories now about how that made a drastic difference in other people's businesses. So that was like a, a cool uh, result from this three week competition because, quite frankly, we were more looking to like to push to get people to get better results, but see that that community really come together and start working together and start doing deals together. Uh, that was extremely powerful. So that being said, so here's some of the results of the, of the three week Titanium University Summer Olympics with 40 people competing. There were over 100 contracts signed, assigned, closed and funded during this time frame. Okay, so we went through, we have the hashtag conquered, that's the hashtag that we use. We went through and there was over 100 posts of either a contract signed, an assignment signed, or a closed and funded deal in three weeks. That is mind-blowing, okay? And we'll get to even more why that's mind-blowing later on once you understand how some of these people, like these are their first ever deals, okay? We had people have record-breaking months in a three-week competition. This is why I always talk about like, dude, if you are not competing, if you don't feel like you're in a, a, a competition, you're, you're kind of missing out on the benefit of what competition is. Like some people have been in this business for years and because they, they participated in a three-week competition, went out and had a record-breaking month. That was amazing to me, okay? Uh, also, the momentum that it created inside of the community has, has been just amazing. Uh, today, Randy Charlton, I saw him purchase a property in Oklahoma for $6,500. He's already got it sold for $25,000. He's doing like a wholesale on it, basically. 
I saw him get a signed contract in Oregon that he has been following up with the seller for over 350 days. That happened today, just before I, I recorded this video. I saw back-to-back -back posts, hashtag conquered by Randy Charlton, to see these results where he was talking yesterday in the implementation call about how great this competition was for him because it really inspired him to see how other people were succeeding. It's one thing to hear about it from people at Titanium. It's another to hear from your brother that's like, hey, there's JW, there's Jamie, there's Tyler Osborne, there's Todd Chun. They're they're going out and they're getting these results and, and have that conversation like, hey, Todd, what did you do to get that deal? And maybe it's just one thing that Todd says that maybe it's a little bit different than the way RJ says it or it's a little bit different than the way Cassie says it that leads to a massive momentum change for someone like Randy Charlton. So that's been an awesome uh, you know, benefit to this challenge as well. The other thing is, is why uh, keeping people around you that are on the same path as you is so important. I mean, seeing eight people come together and, and decide, like, we truly, because we give pretty good prizes for this. Like, we did a challenge um, earlier on. It was the Titanium Hard Challenge. We did it for a month. That was individual. This wasn't team oriented. And, and we gave the first two people that won a day in the office with me and Cassie, uninterrupted, spend a day in the office, talk about whatever you want, basically a one-on-one -on -one coaching session. Um, so there's there's big prizes on the back side of this. Um, and, and Danielle was one of the winners. She's already come and spent her day. JW was the ultimate winner of the first Titanium Hard Challenge. He's going to be coming in and spending a day. Um, there's a lot of value in winning this and seeing those eight people come together as a, a, a small little community, have the same you know, end result in mind and, and having that daily conversation, the winning team actually said they, you know, Nancy came in every single day with motivational quotes and, and really pumping the team up and keeping them motivated. And, and they talked about how beneficial that was. She found a role on that team that helped them. And it was funny to see because, Nancy probably just thought she was, you know, she was just trying to help out the team in any way that she possibly could. And that's her personality. But to see how much that meant to some of the other members and how much it did motivate them to go out and get those results, I think it's amazing. The other thing is, I talked about this earlier, but seeing how many different students are doing deals together. Yash and Danielle did a deal together. It's already closed and funded. Yash. Acquired it, Danielle dispoed it. Both of these people coming in is Yash didn't even know what wholesaling was when he joined Titanium University. He, he probably had like a, a little bit of an idea, but like literally 60 days ago, did not even know what wholesaling was. Danielle has been been trying to get on this for a while. She had done it several deals, but now she's done more deals than she's ever done, even though she's been a part of other communities. Now she's actually getting the support that she needs and she's getting results and she's having results with other people inside of the community at Titanium University. Yusuf and Galen working together. Uh, Randy and uh, Randy Tomlinson and George. George gets a contract on his first day using SVA cold call leads. He closes it in Cincinnati, Ohio, comes on the implementation call and says, here's the thing. I got the signed contract but I really need to dispo this. It's in Cincinnati and I've got to get it closed in 10 days. So he wanted to JV with us. Randy Tomlinson says, I've got buyers in Cincinnati. And I said, I'd rather you do the deal with Randy Tomlinson. Let's get this bad boy closed. Within 24 hours, Randy had that deal assigned and now it's set to close the fund net later next week. And then ultimately the standout from the Titanium University Summer Olympics, everyone would have to agree it is Todd Chun. Uh, Todd Chun came in uh, like a wrecking ball. I mean, just all day, every day, signed contracts, signed assignment, closed and funded, uh, and just helping people inside the community, 
talking about what was working for him. We had an entire implementation call where he basically was just talking about what was working for him inside of his business. And the funny thing about it was, is it was very simple changes. It wasn't, he wasn't doing like a lot different than people. It was just little things that he was doing where he's like, I'm turning on my property leads at the end of the week and I'm, I'm closing during the weekend and I'm dispoing during the middle of the week. Business owners work in the middle of the week. Who, who doesn't work on the weekends? Motivated sellers. So he, he processed this and that's what was getting him the results as one of the things that he was talking about. Uh, so Todd Chun just absolutely crushed it during this. And then it was amazing to see him helping everyone uh, along the way. The other thing is a lot of these people that were closing deals in these hundred plus, I mean, it, what my notes say here, and I didn't do the counting, someone else on the team did the counting. It says well over a hundred contracts signed, assigned, closed, and funded. A majority of these people 60 to 90 days ago had never done deals. We get results at Titanium University. That, that is what it's about. Immediate action taking, implementation, and get results. I love that. Uh, we've had people inside it because we started this, you know, three weeks ago. Just a week and a half ago, well, I guess it's almost two weeks now. The fantastic fourth class, our fourth ever class, joined. Okay. So we had 90 people in the group, 40 people participated. We added another 30. So we're up to 120 people inside the family now with partners and everything. It's closer to like 175. Uh, these people that joined in the fourth class saw the competition going on and immediately just like started coming in. They started getting results and it was amazing. I've got here, Schaefer got his first deal. Chris Beckman got a $45,000 assignment closed and funded. Uh, Steve's locking up deals. I mean, dude, it was crazy. And there was so much chaos that was going on during the Titanium University Summer Olympics. I mean, we we had the, the tragic passing of Cassie's dad. Obviously, that took Cassie away uh, from implementation calls and being, you know, supportive of the community uh, for a while. Um, I obviously had to, to step aside for a little bit because of that as well. Um, I've also uh, been sick for the past week. I've had a sinus infection. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but I'm struggling right now. Um, I'm doped up on steroids and antibiotics. I'm trying to do my best to, to do what I can do here. Um, and because of that, dude, our team stepped up like fucking champs. Uh, Justin and Garrett came in. They handled multiple uh, implementation calls, going over what they do on the disposition side and on the acquisition side. Today, they did a, an implementation call doing a comp challenge where they gave a difficult property to comp and, and gave it to everybody the day before and then had the, the community members come in and say, this is what we got as the after repair value. And then they underwrote the deal, what they thought they should offer on it based off of the notes. Um, it was just awesome to see this, the, the team step up uh, during this time and see the community receive that. I, actually, Several people told Justin and Garrett that their implementation calls were some of their most favorite implementation calls uh, of all time, uh, which is like one of the biggest compliments that I've ever received. Because what better compliment could you receive than someone that you have trained and brought up inside of your business to then have them become a leader inside of your education program? Just awesome to see that. Um, the other thing is, it's just outside of the results of the Summer Olympics, but also seeing people inside of the university locking up deals and saying, hey, I'm going to stay laser focused on acquisitions because I'm not ready to go to the disposition side yet. Uh, AJ sold three deals yesterday in three hours. Uh, that was crazy. Uh, love seeing that kind of results. Uh, we, we got a video coming out next week about this, but Garrett absolutely saved just a shit show of a deal. Um, in New York, um, if you guys attended my investor lift, uh, dispositions day, um, that video is coming out. It was that dispo. Um, he saved that. 
And then just overall the feedback from like some of the guys on the winning team, like Jamie LeBlanc was on the winning team. Uh, you know, he talked about Nancy and, and her motivation on a daily basis. But really what he talked about was is just the daily communication with his team and staying focused on what can we do today to get the result that we want. Um, that was awesome. Uh, Rhett was also on the winning team. I talked to him. He said one of the things that stood out to him about the competition was being around his team members and seeing little things that they were doing inside of their business that poked holes in maybe what, what was lacking in his business and really tightening up the ship inside of his own business, making a huge difference. So when we look back at the results of the Titanium University Summer Olympics, I think some of the feet, the, the, takeaways for me were there was not a lot of focus on the fact that there was a competition obviously everyone wanted to win but because you were in that atmosphere you were more focused on what actions am i taking to get the result to win and i think that focus that accountability with having teammates made such a difference for so many people and that's what led to the astronomical results that some of the people got inside the community, as well as some people getting their first ever deals, get closing their first ever deals, getting checks for the first time. Um, and then also just that community atmosphere of saying, hey, let's do some deals together. Uh, you know, Randy and George doing that deal in Cincinnati. It's like, I can promise you right now, George is like, dude, this is amazing because he got that from SVA. So he had to tell SVA that Cincinnati, Ohio would be one of his markets. And now he knows Randy can pretty much assign a deal in less than 24 hours. He's got to be feeling like, man, I, I've got a little honey hole set up right here. I'm going to go rock star this out inside of Cincinnati, Ohio. And I know Randy's got my back. It's just awesome. So that being said, put yourself in a competitive atmosphere. Okay. that's. This is what this is why I talk about it all the time. It breeds greatness. All right. If you don't have that atmosphere, you can. It's at Titanium University. We do these all the time. Check it out. Go to titaniumu.com. Sign up for the wait list. We're going to be opening it up again later this month in August. Uh, if you haven't checked it out yet, I don't know what you're missing out on. It's the greatest community in all virtual wholesaling, and we're just getting started. It's only going to get better from here. Come join us. I want you there if you're the right fit. Appreciate you guys. Have a great weekend.